Hi, my name is Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. We're going to talk about how to calculate the mean of a frequency distribution, or in other words, a weighted mean, both by using a table and working it out by hand, and by using a calculator. The calculator we're going to use is the Texas Instruments 30X2S. The scenario that we're going to look at is how to calculate the average salary for a particular company. Um, the company has several employees that have different jobs. Uh, for example, they have one manager, five salespersons, three secretaries, and a custodian. And each of these people makes a different salary based on which job they do. The first step is going to be to identify what are our data values and what are our frequencies. So the salary column is the actual data value, or x values, and the number column is telling us how frequently these occur, the frequencies. So I'm going to make a table, and I'm going to label my columns x and f for data values and frequencies. But I'm also going to have a table, uh, or rather a column, for the products. And here's the reason why. It may look like we only have four data values, but that's not actually true. For example, there are actually five salespersons that are each making 17500 And if you recall, in order to find the mean of a set of data, we need to add up all the data values. So we're not just adding up 17500 once, but five times. In other words, we're going to multiply 17000 by five. So multiplying each of the data values by their frequencies, we have 28,600 times 1, 17,500 times 5, 15,100 times 3, 13,000 times 1. And this is going to give us how much money we're send spending on each type of employee. And we're going to have to add all of these up. When we're calculating the mean, we're also going to need to know how many data values we have. In other words, add up all the frequencies. The sum of the frequencies is 10, and the sum of all the money that we've spent on salaries is 174,400. So if we divide all that money by 10, the number of salaries, then we're going to get the average salary. In other words, you're always going to want to multiply all the data values times their frequencies, add those values up, and divide by the total number of frequencies. In this case, it turns out to be $17,440 is the average salary. Now, on your calculator, instead of working this all out by hand, you can enter the data. If you have a TI-30X2S, the way you're going to do that is you're going to hit second stat. Stat is above the data button. And your calculator is going to give you one var or two var as an option. One var should already be underlined. If it's not, you can arrow left to underline it. Hit enter. And then you're going to hit the data button again to, to tell the calculator you're going to enter data. Then it's going to show you x1 for the first data value. So you're going to type in 28,600. And this is my little symbol for arrow down. So after you do that, you're going to arrow down. Then it's going to ask you for the frequency of that particular data value. This one only occurs once, and your calculator probably automatically fills in a 1. So you arrow down again. And then the second data value, x2, would be 17,500. Arrow down again. The frequency of that one is 5. Arrow down again. The third data value was 15,100 with a frequency of 3, and the fourth one is 13,000 with a frequency of 1. Once you've entered those, you don't have to push enter or anything. The second step is to calculate the mean, so you're going to actually hit the stat var button, which is right below the arrows, and you're going to see symbols across the screen, and one of them is x bar. It should already be underlined. If it's not, you can arrow to the left to underline it. And then you're going to hit enter, and the average that we calculated already will show up. So you should see 17,440 on your screen. If you don't, go back and check that you entered the numbers correctly. Another thing is, if you've previously entered data, you're going to want to clear out the data before you start. You can do that by hitting second, and then instead of stat, hit exit stat. So that's going to clear out your data, then go back and hit second stat, and try entering the data values again. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it and leave any comments or questions down below.